Welcome. I am Petty Officer 2nd Class James Fraser and we are back at West Hawk Lake, Manitoba for the annual Western Region Ice Dive Exercise. We have Naval Reserve Port Inspection Divers from across Canada here conducting dive training under the ice. Send this a tangle bravo, we'll go ahead over. Hello, I'm S1 Bugden. I'm a port inspection diver with HMCS Chippewa, and we're here today at West Hawk Lake to practice our ice diving capabilities. I'm about to get changed, and I'll be the first diver up. <laughs> Hello, I'm S1 Mason from HMCS Scotian in Halifax, and I'm very excited to be here for the Divex in Winnipeg. On the side, stand by to dive. 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 Dive.
Another guy, okay, max depth 10.6 meters, I soup. I think I did some good video. Awesome, thank you very much. Thank you. So there's a little taste of the ice dive training we do here in the Naval Reserve. Last year I did a full three-part video series on the ice dive exercise. You can check that out here and we'll catch you on the next one. We are back at HMCS Chippewa after another successful ice dive exercise. As I mentioned, we do have a more in-depth three-part video series available from last year's exercise. If you're interested in checking out how we cut the hole in the ice, set up the dive tent, perform an emergency casualty recovery, transport our equipment across the lake on snowmobiles to set up a remote dive site without a tent, then you can check out that video. What I'm going to talk about today that is not in the other video series is how you can become a port inspection diver. First, let's talk eligibility. The port inspection diver occupation has the same basic eligibility requirements as other occupations in the Naval Reserve, including age, citizenship, and education. You must be between the ages of 16 and 56 years old, you must have Canadian citizenship, and you must meet the education requirements. For a port inspection diver, the education requirements include completion of grade 10 high school, specifically including grade 10 applied mathematics, and one of either biology, chemistry, or physics at the grade 10 level. Scuba diving experience or qualifications, such as your PADI open water diver certification, are not required. However, they can be an asset as this occupation is competitive. Once you meet the basic eligibility requirements, the application process for port inspection diver is similar to other Naval Reserve occupations. You have to complete the force evaluation, aptitude test, medical, and interview. For more information on the application process, check out my application information video. The key difference in the application process for the port inspection diver is the dive medical. The process works like this. Once you apply, you complete your standard medical as a part of the application process. At that point, you can be enrolled as a member of the Naval Reserve, and you can even go on to complete your basic military qualification. However, before you complete your actual diver training, before you get in the water as a port inspection diver, you must complete the dive medical. Now, in the case that you successfully pass the standard medical and you do not successfully pass the dive medical, it's important that you choose a second occupation that you'd be willing to accept if you are unable to become a port inspection diver. I'll also add that the port inspection diver training course is one of the most physically demanding training courses that we have in the Naval Reserve. So it's a good idea to have a second occupation as a backup plan in case you're unable to complete the training. If you have any other questions about the port inspection diver occupation, please let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you. Have a great day.